It is welcome to you, my friend. It is time to say welcome to you, my friend. It is time. It is time. It is time to say welcome to everyone. So this is the order of the day. In the first slide, we are grateful to the sacrifice of Jesus for us all. And the second slide, we have the mission statement. Third slide is the story of the week, tied to Father's eyes. Kindly watch through to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And we have more of our video on YouTube channel on David Story Club One. Thank you all for joining. We give thanks to God for this beautiful day. Can we go reading our recitation? Let's read our recitation together. Who knows the recitation now? Everybody knows the recitation. Let's read together. Go ahead. Who am I? Who am I? I am a genius kid with positive pride. I don't allow bullying. I will strive to fulfill my destiny, so help me God. Yes. Our statement says, I will strive to fulfill my destiny by doing your best every day. Relating to your academic, your spiritual life, while at home, do your best. And remember that you are a genius kid with positive pride. And we are not going to allow bullying, okay? We are not going to allow bullying. And God will help us, okay? Let's go to today's story. We tell a story, story, we tell a story, story, we tell a story, story. Our today's story is tied to Father's eyes. Story, story, story. Once upon a time, 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 there is a teenager who loved, who lived alone with his father. And the two of them had a very special relationship. What relationship did they, did they have? Special, special relationship. Special relationship. The father believed in encouragement, even though the son was always on the bench. That is, sometimes he will agree with his father, sometimes he will not easily agree. But his father was always in the stand, sharing him. He never missed a game. This man was the smallest of the class when he entered high school. His father continued to encourage him, but also made it very clear that he did not have to play football if he didn't want to. Do you see this picture? What are these pictures tell us yeah. about? This picture tell us about what? What can we say about this picture? You see this picture, you tell us about what? This picture, who wrote up, Michael? That, uh, that they're playing soccer. Yeah. So this picture shows that these kids are playing soccer. So our today's story Stop. Related to a boy that loved to play soccer. But let's continue following. But the young man loved football and decided to hang in there. He was determined to try his best at every practice. What is he determined to do? To do his best every practice. Practice. To do what? Yeah, he's determined. Practice. Soccer. He's determined to, pra to practice every time. And perhaps he did get to play when he became a senior. Mm -hmm. All through high school, he never missed a practice or a game. His faithful father was always in the stand, always with 
word of encouragement to him. What does the father do to him? This boy, what does the father do to him? Whenever he goes for the practice, what does the father do to him? The father always encourage him. The father always tell him that, yes, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. Okay? So when the young man went to college, he decided to try out for the football team as a walk on. Everyone was sure he could make the cuts. What was the belief of people about him? They believed that he could not make the cuts, but he did. The coach admitted that he, the coach admitted, admitted that he kept him on the roster because he always put his ass and so to every practice. So we hear that the boy always put his mind in whatever he's doing. And at the same time, provided the other member with the spirit and also they badly needed. He encouraged others that yes, they can do it, that we can all do it together to make it. So the news that he had survived the court trained him so much that he rushed to the nearest phone. This is the wrong one day. Okay. This is me so. Okay. And everyone will show a comment to the court that we did. Okay, let's continue. The news that he had trade survived the court trade him so much that he rushed to the nearest phone and called his father. His father shared his excitement and was sent season tickets for all the college games. This persistent young athletic never missed practice during his four year at college, but he never got to play in the game. You see, we are told you that he always go for practice. He always go for practice, always. Okay? He always make sure that he's at the practice. He always make himself at the practice. And when he go for the practice, he gets involved. So it was... Okay. So it was the end of the senior football season. And as he trod onto the practice field shortly before the big game, Game. Okay, the coach met him with a telegram. The young man read the telegram and he became deadly silent. The coach approached the boy and he gave him a letter to read. And when the boy read the letter, he was silent. He was silent and he swallowed, uh, he was silent. He humbled to the he humbled to the coach. My father died this morning. So the letter that was given to him read that his father died. And he asks, is it all right if I miss practice today? The coach put his arm gently around his shoulder and said, take the rest of the week off, son, and don't even play, plan to come back to the game on Saturday. So the boy went home, he raised his mind, and then Saturday arrived. And the game was not going well. What's happening on the field? The game was not going well. well. So in the in the third quarter, when the team was ten points behind, a silent young man quietly slid into the empty locker room. Wow! And he put on his football gear. The opposing team could not stop him. He ran. He passed, logged, and circled like a star. You know, when you know what you want to do, you'll be yeah. eager, you'll be ready to show what you have. So his team began, his team began to triumph because they see him, the spirit is uh, uh, the spirit is encouraged. Okay, the spirit is encouraged. The team began to triumph. The score was 
soon tied. Now they have same same score. Nice. In the closing second of the game, this kid intercepts a pass and ran all the way for the winning touchdown. You know, the boy came when the coach said he shouldn't come. And then he went to, to the locker room, he changed his clothes, and then he went to join his friend playing. So the fan, the fan broke loose. Okay. His teammates hosted him onto, the, onto their shoulder because they are winning now. So sharing you have never had. Finally, after the stand had emptied and the team had showered and left the locker room, the coach noticed that the young man was sitting quietly in the corner all along. You know, now they have won because the boy went to help them on the field. So the coach came to him and said, kid, I can't believe it. You were fantastic. Tell me what got into your, in, on, get onto you. How did you do it? He looked at the coach with tears in his eyes and said, well, you knew my dad died, but did you know that my dad was blind? So all along that the father has been going to the practice with the, with the son, the father was blind, but he always go along with his son. So the young man swallowed hard and forced a smile. That came all that came to all my games. But today, for the first time, it could still me place. And I wanted to show him I could do it. See, now that he died, the father has died. All the lessons that the boy received from his father, he did not forget them. He put them all into practice. And on the day day that it needed, he was able to show his skill. Okay, he was able to show his skill. What did he tell the coach? What did the boy tell the coach? Michael, you like to play football. What did he like? What did he tell the coach? The boy, what did he say? He said. He said that, but today was the first time he could see me play. And I wanted to show him I could do it. Assuming his father was alive, the father would have seen that he could do it. But that's why the father that best for the father, the father was not alive. He still do his best. So as he ran onto the sideline, the coach and his player were astounded to see their faithful team met back so soon. Coach. Okay, so the boy went to join them. Oh, that's a new stuff. So he went to join them and they all played together and they come out best. They come out winning. So the oppo oppo opponent's party was so discouraged. They didn't know what was going on. Hello? Michael? What can you say from the story? Uh, the, the, his dad was blind. And the father was always there taking him for parties. Okay, so what do you learn from the story? What do you learn from the story? Amanda, what do you learn from the story? I'll come back to you, Michael. This what I learned from this what I learned from the story is that. The boy, the boy loves soccer, so he never gives up on his dream. So he kept playing soccer and soccer, and then, and then he he won a gold, and he and the kid believes himself. Yes, thank you. 
Amata, you want to tell us something? Amata, your sister, what you learn? I learned that that the boy practice soccer every day. And here is the first one. Yes, and he won. He did not give up on himself. Okay, thank you. Grace, what do you learn? Go ahead, speak. I learned about <coughs> what do you learn, Grace? I I I I learned that you should never give up. Yes. And and you should the ones who die is gonna be in heaven and be watching you. Yes. You should never give up. And the father that was dead, he was watching the boy, the spirit of the father. The boy remember that he has a father. Okay, thank you. Where's want to talk, David? David, what, what did you learn? What did I you learned. Learn? What I learned. What I learned about the man that he wanted to play soccer, right? Yeah, the boy. The blind. boy loved playing soccer. Mm -hmm, but he was blind. Is the father that was blind? The father was blind. The father was blind. So I would say that if the father would come to the um to the place where he when he could um or the stadium when they were playing soccer, he couldn't see them. If he was there. No, he's always there, but he, he, he he is always there. He took his his, his son to, to, for the practice. He's not totally blind. He could see somehow, but not like you. Michael, speak. I see you raising your hand. Go ahead, Michael. So what I learned from the story was that uh, you should never give up. Yes, you should never give up. Who else doesn't speak? Who else has not speak? Roots. Roots? Yes, yes. ma'am. You want to tell us something? Yes. Um, you should always believe in yourself and never think that you can't do something because God, because God made us for a reason and we could do whatever we want to do if we put our heart, mind, and soul into it. Yes, thank you. With God, all things are possible. When we put our mind in whatever we want to do, it's going to be good for us. It's going to, it's going to come out well. Anybody else who hasn't talked? Okay. So what I have here for our lesson length today is that let us keep focusing in whatever we have to do. Like the boy from our story, he was determined to try his best at every practice. Let's, let's keep focusing. The school year is coming to an end. You're gonna get vacation very soon. Going for summer break. You have a lot to do in your summer break. Do not forget all what you have been taught in school. Let's Keep focus. Don't forget all the skill in math, in English, in ELA, everything. Don't forget it. And keep working on all those things so that when you go back to your new grade, you can come out well, shining, winning, okay? So let's all be determined and keep trying our best, okay? And secondly, I have heard that we should not be discouraged. You know, when the boy, was to join them on the field. They didn't believe him. They think the boy cannot do it because he has always just been going for practicing, but he has not been on the field to 
to show his skill, but when he joined them to play, they could not believe what they see. The boy that they, they did not believe don't make them to win the, the match. So when someone tries to belittle to you with their words or expression, don't allow, don't be discouraged of them. Always remember who you are. You are what? A genius kid with positive pride. You are smart and intelligent. And you are a child of, child of who? God. You are a child of God. Always remember who you are. And when you remember who you are, you'll be confident in your God and in yourself. Okay? And thirdly, we also learn that as we see that the boy that died, when he was supposed to have seen his sources. So from our story, we are reminded that our Heavenly Father is always closed watching us. He's always closed watching us wherever we find ourselves. God is always there for us. When your mom is not with you in the school, remember that your, your Heavenly Father is there to guide you, to uphold you, to help you in whatever you may need help, okay? And when, as you talk to him, quietly in your heart, in your mind, he hears you and he will come to help you. You may not see him, but keep believing on him, okay? Keep believing in God. Do anybody have something to say? Any contribution? No. Do you have any contribution? So we like the story, though the story was short, it's not that long. Do we like the story? Yes. Okay. Michael, you like the story? Yes. Love for both. Yes. Okay. So thank you all for joining. Thank you all for joining, okay? If you, have else to do, okay. if you have something else to do, finish up, okay? Do we have school tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah, I can have school tomorrow. Some don't have. Some have, okay? So even as you are home that you don't have school, still take your book to read, okay? Take your book to read. Keep yourself busy. Do what you have to do. Okay. So on this at this point, I will say good night, everyone. It is time to say bye-bye to you, my friend. It is time to say bye-bye to you, my friend. It is time. It is time to say bye-bye to everyone.